My name is Pauline, I'm 15 years old and I'm from a little town called Lüdenscheid in the west of Germany. I live uh, with my family in Lüdenscheid. Uh, my dad's an engineer, his name is Martin, and my mom's an architect. Her name is Dorothy. And I have two sisters, a younger one and an older one. The younger one is still in high school and her name is Charlotte. And my older sister is named Anna. I go to school at Geschwister Scholl Gymnasium. It's a high school it's from year 5 to year 12 in Germany. I've been living in New Zealand for the past five months with the Stuart family. The Stuarts, that is Sarah and Grant, and their children Rosa and Beth, which are my age, and their older brother Johnny. The Stuart family is very lovely, and I, I felt like I'm their daughter since the first day. and. It's like normal sisters, but without the fighting. <laughs> I met Pauline in Cologne in Germany, and the, the reason that I was meeting her was because she was meant to be going to another school, and unfortunately they closed the international program down. So we ended up with Pauline at Kuiper. She was a little bit nervous about coming to Kuiper because initially she was obviously going to another school um, in the North Island. So I went, I went and met her just to reassure her that you know we were all good at Kuiper and basically we were really pleased to have her. So, and we just discussed some of the extracurricular activities she could be doing and I talked about her family that she would be going to and we joined them on Facebook so that, you know, at least she felt some connection with New Zealand before she went on that journey. And then they were really kind and they took me to the market in Cologne. So we had a great time. It was extremely busy, but it was a wonderful market. It was just really nice to meet Pauline and her mum and sort of bond. I didn't personally think that Pauline was going to struggle at all because I think she's a, um, she comes from a you know a well-grounded grounded family background. Her sister had been in um, New Zealand as well as a, as a student, so I think she had a bit of an understanding what the culture was like. And also she's, um, she's quite resilient, and also because she has that go-getter attitude, she was up for doing you know as many things as possible to enrich her cultural experience in New Zealand. So I didn't personally have any issues with her. I think at first she was just a bit nervous because of the school change. And that was when she was in Germany. But once she got here, she was fine. It's been really wonderful having Pauline. I picked her up from the hotel in Auckland City and dropped her off at Beth and Roses. And um, she's so so integrated to in school. It's wonderful to see her on Facebook out and about um, with the family and her friends at Kuiper doing all the things that you know she should be doing as a teenager. It was very good that I already knew Sally when I came here because that was a bit easier that I knew someone. I was nervous but not really because it was so last minute. I, I was a bit worried when I heard the news like the school doesn't want you anymore we have to search a new school but that was alright. I didn't think I struggled that much it's just uh, the language can be a big barrier like when you don't know a word and you have to explain it or someone doesn't understand you or you don't understand someone that can be a bit hard and but usually you can explain each other or you just use your hands and feet to communicate and there's always a way to go over that barrier. The other thing is that it can be hard if you know no one where you go with that can be a bit like scary but since everybody is so nice it hasn't been a big problem. What I miss the most is my family and my friends but since we have Skype and other things to contact home it's quite easy to stay in touch with them and I Skype my uh, family every few weeks and I text my friends nearly every day but I still miss them. We met Pauline, it was just um, out of the blue. She just turned up with Sally at our home 
and all we'd had really was an email prior and a little bit of conversation with Sally and we had become Facebook friends. Um, so Pauline turned up with Sally and we just instantly liked one another and it was like she'd always been here. It's been really awesome um, having Pauline staying with us. She really quickly became part of the family. She just got on with what she needed to do. She had, had her own room. It was a space that she could have for herself. Doesn't have to worry about anybody else, but she just became part of the family and we just welcomed her in as part of the family too. So it's just like having another daughter and another sister. Obviously, when you're away from home, it's difficult because you must miss your family. Pauline hasn't suffered from any homesickness so we've been really lucky I and mean, that might be just because she just got on with making the most of being in New Zealand. I think with English as a second language we have to remember just to speak a little bit more slowly so that she can understand what we're saying. Um, I think our humour is a little bit different so we'll be laughing about something and she'll be thinking oh my gosh what are they talking about or are they having an argument but really we're just joking with one another it's just a kind of Kiwi way. I think the biggest way of helping through those times that might have been a little bit tough is just talking to one another. Having another person in your home who's away from home and especially at age 15 it's up to the host family to make that person feel a part of the family so I think it's important that she felt just like one of our other children. From our perspective, there hasn't really been any difficulties at all. I mean, obviously you've got someone else in your home, but you agree to that before they come. So it is another person who's not your your own family. But when you've had um, lots of lovely young people coming through your home anyway, um, it's just I don't think you'd do it if you didn't like having other people around. I really, really enjoyed New Zealand so far, and when people ask me, do you like New Zealand, I'm usually like, I love it. <laughs> we went up north to Madapuri, and we went down to New Plymouth for WOMAD, and uh, in the holidays I was 10 days around the South Island, which was very good. It's hard to pick a favourite memory because there were so many good moments. I love WOMAD, I love surfing at Madapuri and all the other good places I went and people I met and everything was so good. Yeah, New Zealand is really home for me now. Like, uh, I've been living here for not a very long time but really feels like home now and I've met so many people here and um, made so many friends and it just feels like home now. <laughs> The stewards are really my family now and I really love them and um, I hope my family doesn't get jealous that <laughs> I have another family now. <laughs>where your family is and since I have two families now I think I have two homes now and it's also where your friends are and all the things and places you love and I have both of it in Germany and New Zealand it's not only a thing you say it, it's kind of like a feeling where you always love coming back yeah living here is exactly what home is for me